Nana Adogarfa Akufu Adam, having been elected to the heart of the President of the Republic of Ghana. Well, I'll bring you some highlights of Dr. Baumia's presentation of what government has achieved in 100 days. Now, he says government has been able to reprofile Ghana's debt without incurring more debt. And he calls this the deal of the year. And also he mentioned that in less than 100 days, government has increased the reserves uh, of the country from $6 billion, that's the foreign reserves, from $6 billion dollars to eight billion dollars. He also spoke about inflation, which he says has come down from 15.8% uh, to less than 12%. And uh, some of the highlights, Ghana has increased its uh, appropriation with Ivory Coast in cocoa prices. Government has hired 1,200 agric extension officers who are affected by the freeze in employment. He also spoke about the fact that fertilizer prices has been reduced uh, by 50%. And uh, a safety audit unit at the Ghana Tourist Authority has been set up for audit of all tourist sites. Government has spread allocation of premix fuel to nine oil marketing companies, unlike uh, previously when it was only uh, for two oil marketing companies. Companies. He also says government has halted the issuing of efficient licenses a lot. And he uh, mentioned 103 achievements of the Akufado government in its first 100 days. It's now time to get interactive. Obviously, this program has been very interactive with many of you sending in your questions via WhatsApp, Twitter, and Facebook. But let's pick some more comments here. Let's get on to Facebook. Props be Mick uh, Dreamy says, what is the government doing about the petrochemical industries? And he says he's a petrochemical engineering student, a graduate, who has been unemployed for three years. He says, we have gas in excess, so why do we keep importing uh, fertilizers, paint, polymers, and other Intermediaries talking about important fertilizers. The vice president also also mentioned uh, that they, uh, the government has imported 300,000 metric tons of fertilizer for this year. So, well, there are 40 uh, some replies. He sent this in 47 minutes ago. Yasa Mustafa says, Your Excellency would like to bring to your notice the predicament of over 3,000 newly trained medical doctors who have been at home for seven months awaiting financial clearance to begin their housemanships. He's asking, well, he's saying, as you are aware, the housemanship is mandatory and constitutes part of uh, the continuous uh, part of the job training for these doctors. At a stance, these doctors cannot make any further progress. But he, he's talking about the predicament of 300 newly trained medical doctors who have been at home for seven months uh, awaiting financial clearance to begin their housemanship. But uh, Dr. Balmia mentioned that uh, some of them who completed their housemanship seven months ago, about 180 of them have received uh, uh, clearance from the finance ministry to be employed. So, well, he spoke about that. Let's quickly go to Abdul Razak's uh, post there. And uh, he asked his question right after Yasser Mustafa. He's saying that, um, under the NDC government, it was common knowledge that the NHIA was suffering with funding irrespective of the allocation from government uh, that goes to the authority. And now that the MPP has also reduced the percentage of funds that goes to this authority, um, how do they want the authority to go? In fact, the president spoke in relation to the NHIA and mentioned uh, that they had actually given them more money uh, to work in addition to what they already have. So Abdul Razak, that's for you. Maria Say says, I want to know what measures government has put in place to curtail the activities of invisible forces and other groups. Uh, she says it's a big worry to her. Mary, he commented on that as well. And he said, well, the law is taking its course and they cannot interfere with the rule of law. Apia Kobe Williams says, exactly what I was discussing with a friend as an independent thinker and researcher, I hope this government will easily fulfill all their promises to making Ghana shine brightly in Africa 
and the whole world in the future. He, and he's saying, lay aside your hate feelings for this highly reputable man in this current government. They are hope now and we need to support them irrespective of our political affiliation. Uh, well, okay, so he mentions that obviously he expects bad replies to his comment and he says, one nation, one people, one destiny. God bless us all. Stella Nutakor says, we have issues with textbooks for all the subjects in all public schools. Please provide them for us to teach effectively. I insist his Excellency. Well, in his closing remarks, uh, Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia says he was really pleased to have taken part in this program because some issues were brought to the fore. And uh, if he had not come for, the, for this particular program, he may not have uh, thought about them. And he mentioned uh, the Marrakesh Treaty and uh, the issue of the capitation with schools and all that. So Ibrahim Milano says... Um, Teacher trainee allowances, will the continuous students enjoy it? Well, he mentioned uh, that they have reinstated teacher trainee allowances. So I'm sure if we can imply that, yes, it will affect all uh, teacher trainees who may not be uh, completing this year or with the current batch. Kweku Abey Kunyame says, I would suggest that the payments of LEAP should be paid directly th to the beneficiaries through eSwish in order to reduce corruption now talking about leap and uh, the president also mentioned that and uh, the fact that uh, 350,000 homes and uh, more homes were going to uh, benefit from the leap now let's talk about some of the other highlights he says the common fund for disabled uh, persons increased from two to three percent and uh, approvals ha has been given to employ health trainees who graduated and uh, he mentioned uh, between 2012 and 2016 and the number there is 11,000 health trainees who graduated from 2012 to 2016 approval has been given uh, for them to be employed forensic audit for medical stores fire also the budget allocation for youth employment agency to hire and train 80,000 more youth this year also, uh, he mentioned as one of the achievements the completion of uh, appointment of ministers in a matter of uh, six weeks. Also, 150 million uh, from District Assembly Common Fund allocated to clear school feeding arrears. Another achievement he touted as the sword cutting for construction of the National Cathedral. Let's now get on to Twitter and. Uh, we are top trend, ask, hashtag AskBaumia ask is on top trend on Twitter. And uh, this one says, I pay almost 9% increment in my academic and hostel fee every year. A can USD, he says, what solution does the government have for us? That's a question from Prince uh, underscore puzzle. And uh, Gideon Autry Darko, hashtag AskBaumia, what government is doing to raise the standards of living of the ordinary teacher a housing policy for teachers to be specific. And uh, at Kwabna Abu Bakar says, how will you deal with the menace at the passport and license office? Like I mentioned, because of time constraints, the president, a uh, vice president, I beg your pardon, couldn't take all these questions. But we know that once it's come to the fore, we definitely will get answers uh, for you. This one is from Elton Brobe, and uh, he's actually tweeting uh, something Dr. Baumia says. He says, by the end of our first term, our economy will depend on its own resources. And this was in relation uh, to the president's statement that he wants this country to be aid free. And uh, some more tweets and will be done here. This one says, strangely, the NHIS doesn't cover any of their treatment well i don't know what any of their treatment is being uh, referred to here but you're watching joy news uh, also live on joy 99.7 fm and myjoyonline.com this is uh time with the vice hashtag ask about me a hundred days of change we are asking the vice president has spoken of giving you some highlights of uh, what he considers are the achievements in the first 
100 days. But obviously, the conversation continues on Twitter, on Facebook, even right here. We'll have an editor's forum where a lot of analysis and expect Raymond Aqua to do the fact checking on some of these achievements that the vice president is touting. Uh, let's get on to WhatsApp now. Uh, Nukunu Foga says, all intentions are now achievements. Even a health work he joined last month is an achievement. And he's asking, what is that? He says, that's unnecessary. And a lot more people, well, are talking about the fact that many of the pointers that the vice president gave or many of the achievements he mentioned uh, are actually not visible. Uh, some of them, he speaks of the fact that uh, we'll start seeing the effects in September and all that. And uh, also, this one is from Riches. He says, Peter Seems government is silent on Woyama's case. What's the way for it? Ask Baumia. And, uh, well, he has a t uh, tagged the vice president himself to that post. So we sure will get you answers. It won't end here. It won't end at that two hour program. We definitely will be picking up a lot of answers uh, from you for those res from those responsible. And this is from at UCC Times. Thank you, Ajoy 99.7 FM and Multimedia for this platform. Well, the platform to ask all the questions you need to ask and get answers as well. 100 days after being sworn into office, we call it time with the vice hashtag ask baumia a few more tweets and i'll be out of here and uh, this one says every question you ask baumia has been answered kudos your excellency and that's from sir i'll be actually commending the vice president for his delivery Thank you for staying here on Joy News, myjoyonline.com and Joy 99.7 FM. I've been giving you some comments on uh, social media about the time with the vice, uh, questions from the general public. Also, some highlights from the vice president's uh, presentation. Just to wrap up, let me run you by a few more. He says, Ghana will outdoor a digital address system this year. And then he mentioned that as one of the achievements of the Okufuado led administration in its first 100 years. He says government has suspended the issuance of small scale mining licenses for a restructuring in the sector. The government has banned mining in all water bodies and riverbeds. Government has allocated 450 million cities for one district, one factory. He also spoke about uh, the national ID cards. He says process to issue them has begun. And uh, also government has awarded a contract to the uh, Kofi Annan ICT Training Center to train 1,400 teachers in ICT. Also, there's a contract for e-procurement. And uh, he also mentions something interesting. Let's talk about the energy sector before I wrap up. The power purchase agreement uh, will involve not charging more than 10 cents uh, per kilowatt. And uh, he also uh, says that They've started separating thermal uh, from hydropower generation at VRA. He says now there's a move for all government buildings to rely on solar power. And uh, he says that there's also a move uh, for transparency in uh, the oil sector in terms of who owns what. And uh, he also mentioned that new energy contracts from now on will only be on renewable energy you're watching joy news channel you're also live on joy 99.7 fm and my joy online.com it's time with the vice hashtag ask dr baumia my name is benis abubedu having been in that